Hi, and welcome to Brushes and Cocktails. Today, my cocktail is Long Island Iced Tea. That's because it's so nice and hot outside today. So let's enjoy ourselves and take a breather and let's get painting. So first off, what we're going to do is use a K-cup and put it in the middle of our canvas where we want our moon. Use a pencil and let's just circle this K-cup so you start with a really nice smooth circle on your canvas. Then what we're going to do, and I am going to use my monster brush for this. Cheers. is we're going to wet the canvas slightly just to get it ready for the paint because I want my streaks to go nicely. Now I'm going to load up my large brush and I'm going to go in the middle of the circle. So plant your brush, spin it around, And there you have a nice round circle. Don't worry about the edges being even because we're going to mess it all up. Next, with the white still on my brush, I'm going to go into the phthalo blue. And now I'm going to plant my brush and I'm going to dry it all the way to the end of the canvas. And if it's a little dry, Put a little bit of water on your brush and bring it down. Load your brush with more white and a little bit of phthalo blue on the corner of the brush. I'm going to go straight across so I know where my angles are. And then I will continue with the spiral after. Look how lovely those colors are. And I'm going to go up to my top here just so I can get my guides in. It will help you too. And just keep doing that once you've got those lovely ear markers in. brush straight across here. Sorry for my arm. Now once these are in, I just want you to continue in a nice directional ray pattern. So again, plant, Come down in the middle. If you break it up this way, it makes it a little easier. So with the weather getting much better during our COVID confinement, where things are starting to open up a little bit, we may not be back to normal for a long time, but hopefully everybody's going to get used to the new way of living. So that we can all be safe. I'm gonna add a bit more 
phthalo without the white in here because I want some nice strong streaks. Always come from the center and let your arm just go all the way. easier to do the lights. Now in here where the canvas didn't cover, I can bring in white and the wet brush. And the wet brush is going to spread the paint for me a little more. But again, always from the center. So Get that continuous line. If it's really dry in areas, then you can go into the middle, but make sure after you get the paint spread here, you bring it back down to the center. I want a nice coverage all over my canvas. Put a little more phalo in there so that it gets to be more striking. I'm switching to my monster brush so it goes just a little bit faster. I'm going to bring in some strong blue again into these rays just after I get this cleaned up. Okay, let's turn her around again. I'm going to go back to my medium brush. Now that the surface is covered, it's going to slide much easier for me. So again, dip into the white, a little bit of phthalo blue, bring it down. Really let those streaks show. Here I'm just gonna bring phthalo blue Bringing back that rich color so that when we have our rays, they really shine. Okay. 
I'm using a gessoed canvas, so it can be a bit more of a struggle, but that's because I have not been able to get my supply in. Back into just fellow. And there we've got this lovely verse going on. Just going to break some in here. Go into the pure white and go back in. Just want to get those gobs off. There we go. Now we're just going to let this dry for a few minutes. And then we're going to start putting in our lovely trees and blending our white in here. I want it to be a little drier. Now we are going to take a dry brush and we're just going to go around the edge of the circle a little. In shoulder strokes. So you want to blend it in. Let's use the bigger brush. So now I'm going to go into my pure white <clears throat> and I'm going to put in my first tree trunk all the way down. It doesn't have to be straight, don't worry. Trees don't go completely, grow completely straight. So that's number one. It's a little bit wider on the bottom. Now I'm come from the top and I'm going to use the flat of my brush and all the way down. And all the way up. Let's load the brush up again. Load up my brush with white again and come all the way down. And this is my nice big thick tree trunk. Don't worry about that little bit of blue that's showing up. It's going to go away. I'm going to put another skinny one. down with my brush as I come to the bottom so my tree trunks are a little thicker than the tops. Now 
And let's, let's put one right down here. Big All right, now you're just laying them out. I have to put one here. And let's bring the paper and shut this way. Strengthen up my weight on my, my trunk a little bit before I go back to it. And there's another tree board. Next, let's go here, bring one down. Decide where you want to put your trees. I'm going to bring one more right down there. It is a forest, so you can pack it with as many as you want. base of our trees. Now I'm going to take a smaller brush and do some of the branches. I'm going to use my round brush. Let's put a branch right here. Let it come right off. Now it's really good to have a good quality white to do this painting. Otherwise you're going to be going over it many, many times. For the skinnier brushes, I'm switching to my flat edge. Sure there folks. I guess antiques just have their way of making themselves known even when they're not on camera.
there's another happy little tree. Now this one, let's give it a tree branch right here. Remember to always swoop down with your branch so that you get a good base that connects to the tree. They don't just stick out, they move up. And come down the tree trunks with the gray on one side. So we've got a little shadowing happening there. That's the first step to make your trees bounce. I'm rubbing it in a little to get it blended a little more with the white. Do the same on this one. all along the side. Easy fix if this happens to you. You can literally just wipe it off when it's fresh. Oh, there. All my fingers marks are gone. So now you've just learned another handy trick when you're painting. Nothing has to be permanent. You can change anything you want. Let's delineate this one. There we go. So it stands out against the moon a little. With the second brush, and now I'm going to go into my yellow ochre, and I'm just going to make some little shadows. And you know what? I'm going to add a little black to the yellow ochre because I don't want it too strong.
There we go. Yep, that's better. And just wiggle your brush around. Put in splotches anywhere. Don't worry about where. Just let your brush have some fun. All of this is going to give your tree more character. Doesn't have to be much. Just here and there, really nice. It's going to start looking a little bit like a giraffe. more time, just use that pause button. You know where it is. Make them big, make them small, make them straight across. Sometimes I'm just patting my brush down and letting the shape happen. Now we're going to go into our raw sienna with the same brush, nice and flat, nice and sharp, and we're going to go across. can do this. It's not a frightening brush stroke, is it? You just tap down with a sharp edge and a nice sharp line. And how do you get the sharp edge? Always, always scrape your brush along your palette. 
so that you get that nice fine edge. And then just touch it. You don't have to press. I'm already up here. I'll start at the top. So now we've got the first layer of stripes and dots. Now we're going to go into our black with the same flat edge brush. And we're going to start putting in a few knots, different patterns, going across the tree. more like mullets. They can be any shape, any size. This is what's going to bring our trees to life.
going from giraffes to tigers. Up here, I'm going to make my fine branch from all black. I'm going to give it some shoots. Not too many, just a few. Same with this one. While I'm in this area, I may as well put in some of those fine branches. I am barely touching with my brush. Let's give this one just a little bit more grounding. There we go. And this one as well. I'm just adding a little bit of black around the branches. can have another fine one up here. This is where you really feel like you're building a forest. Let's put one here. Just a tiny one. Remember the swoop when it comes to branches. shadowing around the branch and let's just bring that black right down. I want to delineate this tree from the other, showing that one is in front of the other. So using black and a little bit of shadowing really helps. What I did there was just shadow a little bit from the branch that's going over. As I'm continuing to put my deeper stripes in. We've been all over the zoo in this forest. shape you want. Mm 
you see how this is just making it all come together. This is our last tree. It took a while, but it was well worth it. Just outlining the ones that get lost. So that you can see the separations of them. just deciding where else I might want to put something and as the artist you know you can add whatever you want wherever you want so have fun with it and let's just do a fine line along the edge of the tree trunk in a washed out black the branches so they bounce. Just a very fine line. Barely using your brush. Just letting it make contact with the canvas very lightly. Down with your lines. You don't have to do it to all the trees, just some. You might want to just let it stand out a little bit. final stage I'm going to go back into my white with a small round brush and I'm just going to add a few little white highlights here and there literally not too many places
I hope you enjoyed today's painting. Take a break for yourself as often as you can and do the things that you enjoy. Thank you so much for following with me and painting. Please share my link so other people can enjoy as well and like it. Also, I'd love to see some of your work, so if you want to post it down below, please feel free. It would be really an honor. Thank you so much and see you again soon.